Hi there, this is Amanda Frankel and this is Throwback Thursday. So I hope that you are enjoying this series that Robbie and I are doing together. By the way, I will link Robbie's information in the um, description of this video. So please be sure to stop by her video every Thursday also. So this one's gonna be a little harder to see in the video um, only because it's very dark and I love this card because I think it's great for a woman or a man, which a lot of times we have so many floral cards that it's hard to find a card for a man. So this one is a fern. It's a big leafy fern die cut. See that? And I didn't glue it all the way down. I left kind of the edges up and I'll show you how or why I did that just so that it would have a little more life to it against a really jungly print paper. Um, two different colors of green. They are the greens that are listed in this paper. So what Robbie and I are doing, are use, we're using our retired goods with our current things so that you can see how you can mix match when you still have something left over or when you love a punch and you just don't want to get rid of it. So uh, I'm going to talk you through as I go and tell you what it is that I'm using that is retired um, and what is current. All right, so let's get started. We are using lots of greens today, which makes sense because it's kind of a greenery paper. This is evergreen. It is called Evening Evergreen, and it is just your standard card base. So let's go ahead and get that going on. All right, and the next layer is going to be garden green. And this garden green, I've cut just a normal panel out of it. So it is, so this is a normal size card, and then this would be four and a quarter by five. No, I'm sorry, four by five and a quarter. All right, four by five and a quarter, and it's gonna go in there, but I'm not gonna do it yet because I am gonna attach a bow underneath it. My next layer is this fern paper. This fern paper, which this is also completely fabulous, but it is a paper that's retired called Bloom Where You're Planted, and it was in last year's annual catalog. And I absolutely love, love, loved it. I'll show you why. Um, it This one really could be used for Christmas. So if you still have this left over, it almost looks like pine and you could probably pull it off. But red brick, who couldn't love this? The dies that went with this, and I think they might still be available. I'm going to flip through. And if they're available that match this paper, I'm going to list them for you because I think they just might be. It makes potted plants. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it is. It's called Perfect Plants, the die set, and it's still current. Uh, I didn't use it today, but it does match this paper, and it cuts out these in here perfectly. So you could cut them out and put them right in a pot, and there's a paper that looks like a pot also. I'm going to pull some out here. So this is my retired paper pack, and I keep it all together until I've kind of used it up. But you can see I did love it quite a bit. The pots match the pots in the dies. So you actually could cut out a pot, stick one of these plants in it, and call it a day, put it on the red brick, and it looks like something out of the 80s. Here is the Perfect Plants die set, by the way. It's great. I love it. And it has coordinating stamps that are great, too. But this is such a cute little, you could do a little macrame hanger. Anyway, if you, I will list the plants dies and the um, stamps that go with this great paper in there. If you'd like some of this paper, I have a little bit. Text me and I'll see what we can work out. I may have another pack of it. So if you're interested, let me know. All right, moving on. So anyway, that's where this jungly print went. And the colors that I've used, I knew they were the colors I should use because they were actually listed in the retired paper pack so on the back of your on your back of your designer series paper it actually lists all the colors and that's what I used so these are the colors we've got first I don't want to stick them down because I need to put a bow under it so I am using a retired ribbon it is evening evergreen also it is really woven I think it's called woven as a matter of fact oh chevron weave okay so it's chevron weave uh ribbon again not currently available I'm not sure if there is any evening evergreen ribbon at all listed in the catalog, but if there is, I will link it also below. Um, and I used my bow maker. So this is not a Stampin' Up! product. This is something that one of my customer's husbands made for me, and I use it to tie bows. I'm gonna tie one real quick here. If you would like one, 
he makes them and it comes with the pegs and it's adjustable and I have them for $15 and I will link that below too. Um, so let me know if you want one of those. Okay, so this, I'm just gonna tie a quick bow with my bow maker to make this perfect little bow. It's seriously that easy. This is going like this, tie it in a knot. Your bow will not come tied. I made it a little too small. Your bow will not come tied. Um, I will leave you the ribbon in case you decide you want to do something different. But if you contact me and need a bow maker, then I do have a video and I will send you a link to actually how to tie the bow with the bow maker. All right. So anyway, I'm doing this. If you don't want a bow, you could always do some kind of other little, you, you can just do it straight or do a straight one with a little knot, whatever you prefer. But I'm doing a bow and it just comes out perfect every single time. So that's why I like that. Um, I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to attach these real quick. So this is just going to be liquid glue here. And you know, mostly what we're using today is liquid glue, although we will use we will use some dimensionals also. Okay, this paper does look like it has a little bit of a direction. So when you put yours on, make sure that it is upright. There you go. And it is going to be three and three, sorry, three and three quarters by um, five. I knew I'd get it. I knew I'd get it. All right, so this little bow is going to go on here. And the best way to get your bow on your card, honestly, is never, ever, ever with liquid glue. Because it is a fiber, if you use liquid glue, it turns into a gummy mess. All right, so what I do is I put it where I want it, and it's about right, and then I put my thumb on the knot and just flip it over and put a little piece of scotch tape there. Just that easy. Oh, just that easy, and then I let go of it. Just that easy. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. There we go, I trapped it. <laughs> This could go to the blooper reel. All right, so then my other my other bow part, my other ribbon part is going to go back here. This is when I normally cut it off my spool. If you have a whole spool of ribbon and you're tying bows, don't cut them off. Don't cut it off the, bow, the spool of ribbon until you actually um, need it because if you cut a piece off, sometimes you cut it a little too short or a little too long and then you don't want to waste ribbon. So there we go. And it looks like that. And so it's just that easy. It's going to be glued down again with the liquid glue. Do you see that habit? With one hand, I'm putting the liquid glue holder on there. Okay, really not that much glue. It's, it's pretty thin. And you just kind of center that on there. Done and donezo. So that is really easy. The next thing that I'm going to do is doing some stamping and showing what you what punch I use. So I use this one. Okay, I think it's called the Taylor Tag. It's a retired punch, so I wanted to use it. Although we do have a punch that will make a banner like this, and it's actually cool because it's adjustable. So the technique that I'm going to do this time, you wouldn't have to do if you had the new punch, but I'm showing you how to do it if you have this punch since it's retired. So I punched out of Garden Green. And then I also punched out of gray granite and I love this gray granite. So it is different from our normal gray. We have a smoky slate that's a gray also, and it's much grayer. This is, this has a little bit of brown in it and it makes it look honestly like concrete. And I really like that, but I want it to be behind this. So I'm going to cut it in half. It's the same punch. All right, before I do anything else with that, let me go ahead and stamp this. I'm using... Evening Evergreen ink. This is still currently available, but this is one of the retiring colors. So get on it. Oh, you probably want to know what stamps and stuff I'm using too. Okay, I am using, oh, let's see, I put that sticker on badly. Oh, that's okay. I am using Forever Fern stamp set. This is current Ooh, and dropping. This is current. This is in our current catalog. It does have a paper that matches it. Um, in a previous in a previous thing but that's not the paper that I used it completely was a part of a different suite I just thought it worked really well together and I love this one isn't it great so it does have dies that match um they're not as sold as a bundle anymore but I will list them below because it, they do coordinate exactly with this stamp set um and it cuts out all of these right but there was this one in there too and I thought 
that is great. It really looks like kind of palm frondy, almost, not palm, but you know what I mean, leafy, leafy stuff. So I didn't even have to stamp on it at all. I'm just reaching all over here. I just cut it out. So that I think is great. And I'm only going to stick a little bit of glue on it. So I'm going to do down here. And I'm just putting a couple little splotches, little dots on the back of some leaves. And I'm not even going to go to the edges. I'm just kind of doing the down lows here. Um, so that's so that it can look like it's floating a little. And I'm going to just slide it in here and stick it down. And that way it does have a little life, a little bounce up, up on the edges here because they're not glued directly down. Now, I've already stamped the hello here, and I'm gonna show you what I did with this tag. Like I said, if you used the current um, banner punch that we have, it's a kind of adjustable. You can do different sizes, and you wouldn't need to do what I'm doing, but this is what you do if you have this retired one. So you cut this one in half. This was the gray granite also. And you take your hello, and you flip it over, and you just put a little glue on each side here. And then I just stuck that on and I'm just making it stick out a little bit. And I'll stick this one underneath. And then with your fingers, you're just going to kind of hold it on for a second and let the glue set so that it's straight. Just make sure that you kind of pinch the sides here and you can make it set. And then once you've got that going, you can flip it over. And this is a great thing. So this is <laughs> this is a retired stuff. It's my current dimensionals. They all look like this. They're all, you know, kind of half used, etc. I am going to cut the edge, the edge right here. So can you see that? I just cut the edge here. Oh, I didn't cut all the way through it though. This seriously is a blooper reel. Lucky you, you didn't know. Okay, so there is my edge piece and I'm just gonna stick that right on there. And the good thing is I don't need more than one or two dimensionals. I don't need to stick a whole bunch on there. It's going to hold up that whole thing in a flat way. <laughs> there we go. It's gonna hold up that whole thing in a flat way and I can just stick that down on there. And I'm kind of trapping my stem here underneath that. All right, and on the inside, I never stamp inside, but I loved this stamp set so much. I just thought it had some great sayings. And so I put in there, to a friend that makes me smile. This is also gray granite and it's using the evergreen again. Um, let's see. It is using the gray granite and evergreen ink. And I am just going to ink that up and stamp it real quick. Now you don't need the stamp and pierce mat right now because remember this is a red rubber stamp and it's already got the foam. So you've already got some sponge. So you don't need more sponge. All right, I'm gonna stamp one, two, three, lift. It's a really pretty font, just really soft. But could be, if you have a friend that makes you smile and it's a guy, he's also gonna like this card because it's not all florally. Oh, I stuck it in the wrong one. <laughs> all right, so it's gonna go right in here. The piece that I used here is a little smaller than a normal panel. It's the same size as the designer series paper on the outside. And I did that so that you'd get a wider brim, more of a frame around the granite of the dark green so i just thought that was very pretty so you are all set i will list everything that i use today and i will also write down in the description what is retired so that you know and i will put some alternates in there too like the new punch that would kind of work and the new um i think i told you i would put a paper in there well i will put in whatever actually looks like something that would currently fit into this set and that is all she wrote thank you so much be sure to stop by robbie's blog and check out her throwback thursday and stop back next week and see what crazy things we do with some of our retired stuff thanks so much have a great day bye bye oh gosh i forgot to tell you we actually have kits we each are making only five kits last week i sold out on thursday um, so if you want a kit, let me know. We are making five kits. Each kit will contain enough materials to make two cards, two complete cards like this. So it's lots of different layers. It includes postage, $5, five kits, and they're gone. There will be a link below to buy them and stop over to see Robbie's. She also has five kits available. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.